This is where I belong. My home. This endless darkness you call the Void. There was once light here, and it shone its warmth upon creation. The lands were green and the seas were blue. Life flourished. Before the war. The Contra Memoria. It must have been a terrible war indeed. It shattered the balance, causing darkness to engulf the world. All life was transformed into monstrosities, void scent. We are the natural order now. As light begat Sin Eaters, darkness begat Void Scent. The sun was driven from the sky as fleeting day yielded to endless night. In time, even land and sea lost their distinction. And though the spark of reason had died in us, driven by memory's shadow, we formed factions and carved out domains. This castle, for instance, its erstwhile lord must have abided in such a place once upon a time. If I may, the darkness in you is too much for any man to harbor. To my eyes, you are indeed a void scent. Yet your knowledge of the past and your demeanor mark you apart from your brethren. You are different, that much is plain. But in what way, I am unsure. As you say, I am Void Scent, but only in part. The darkness touched my mother when the war had only just begun, when I was still in the womb. As a child, I looked like any other, but darkness coursed through me and I cease to age when I become a woman grown. But that was then, and now, I may as well be one in full. I prey on the weak and serve the strong. I live to survive, nothing more. Forgive me, it was not my intent to pry. I realize, too, that I have neglected to ask your name. As we say mortal, you may call me Void Scent. That is liable to cause confusion. If you are not averse, we would address you by your true name. And call me what you will. I care not. about zero. Meaning nothing. A name as fitting as any. No, not nothing, but rather a beginning. For it remains to be seen what you will become to us. As I said, I care not. Zero, then. Partnership? Are you saying you wish to strike a bargain? Well, Zero, while there is no end to the questions we could ask, it is only fair that we tell you our purpose in coming here. We are searching for a dragon. One who came to your world long ago. A dragon? Yes. Ajdaya is her name, and she is my sister. If you have any knowledge of her, I beg you share it with us.
Did you say something? No. I thought I heard a voice as well. The keening of void scent, perhaps. This place is as good as any. Let me have the ether now. Very well. struck it down, watched it die. <laughs> Fools. Death doesn't exist in this world. And I, I am free to return whensoever I please. Death doesn't exist? <gasps> of course. In the first, the power of light, of passivity, prevents life from emerging in the empty. But in the thirteenth, the power of darkness, of activity, prevents life from finding rest, even should soul be separated from flesh. So unless one's essence is absorbed by another, it is possible to return again and again. Souls, 
by my power be reborn! If it's another death they want, I say we give it to them. If you could lend us a hand, we'd be much obliged. That you would. But you already owe me a debt, and until you make good in it, I won't lift a finger. We'll speak after you've won. But know that if you lose, I'll help myself to your ether. No matter what you 
do. You cannot hope to win. You never know until you try. And I'm always happy to experiment. Zero! Is there no way to stop them from coming back? There is, but I have no reason to share it with you. <sighs> you know, Zero, you do owe us for one thing. Your name. You'll have your promised ether, but we are owed compensation for your name. A name for which I did not ask. But that I nevertheless did accept. Quite the trick. Satisfied? Completely. Come, my friends. With Zero's aid, we can defeat him. What is this? What have you done? Now that I think on it, you owe me a debt as well. You may have missed your mark, but I won't miss mine. However, in a death is dead. I will repay it here and now.
Zero. We must help her. Another dead to be killed.
You are welcome, seekers of might. I, Golbez, have called you four hither. I, who would see us triumph in the coming crusade. That I may entrust you with command of our armies. Yes, yes, but what of the crew's gift? In exchange for our loyalty, we are to feast on the finest ether. And so you shall, for if you are to serve me, you must be strong. Then honor the pact, and pray we are not disappointed. Very well. Behold. Indeed. Feast, my friends. Feast, and arise as my four arch-fiends. As they are now, they can consume but a fraction of the dragon's ether. Just as well, the creature may yet serve other ends. Are you all right? The Void Sense essence remains, but it has been sealed away, transformed into crystal. Memoria. Scamilione called them. I take it they are connected to the war of which you spoke. Aye. Their use was central to the Contra Memoria, hence its name. And to my knowledge, the transformation is permanent. I see. We thank you for coming to our aid. I repaid a debt, and in doing so ensured that I receive my own due compensation, which I shall have now. Yes, yes. I still have work to do, so I would thank you not to get carried away. Ether is the coin of choice. I appreciate the simplicity. <sighs> that makes us even, I trust. Right then. When you picked up the crystal, you experienced a vision, did you not?
A dragon resembling a great Wyrm. I dare to hope that it was Ashdaya. Even as it pains me to think she has been made to suffer. For the ambitions of this Golbez. We've been given much to consider. Let us take a moment to review what we know.